Hey there and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Chibi El Diablo from Suicide Squad. So let's get started with the eyes. I'm going to start with the brow line above the eyes. Starting from the left, I'm going to draw a straight line across towards the center of the face. And then I'm going to curve up the frown line. Let's move over to the right side and do the same thing. We're going to leave a gap in the center. I'm going to draw that curve for the frown line first. And we'll draw a straight line across above the eye. From here, let's tuck in the curves around the dark circles of the eye. So from the end, I'm going to curve it down, and now we're going to curve it back up, but we're going to go a little bit steeper. We're going to go up and towards that frown line. So we're going to curve around, and we're going to aim directly up, and tuck that in underneath. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So starting from the frown line, I'm going to curve down towards the bottom of the eye, and we're going to curve this back up towards the edge of the eye, and go straight up. From here, let's tuck the eyeballs in underneath. So underneath this brow line, we're going to draw a circle. So a half circle, starting from the end, curving around, and then back up. We'll go to the right side and do the same thing. Starting from the inside, curving down, and then back up. Let's go ahead and draw in the iris underneath. So again, we're going to draw a smaller half circle underneath. And we're going to draw a little highlight on the top left. So back at the start here, we're going to curve around for a small little highlight, we'll color the iris in black. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So starting on the inside, we're going to draw a small half circle. We're going to draw that little highlight. And then we'll color everything else in black. Let's go ahead and color in the dark circle around the eyes in black as well. Do the same on the right side. Let's go ahead and add some more frown lines in the center here. So on the left side, I'm just gonna curve up, and on the right, I'll curve up. From this point, let's move down towards the center of the face and draw on the nose. So we're gonna start up here, I'm gonna draw a point. From this point, I want to draw like a raindrop shape. So we're going to come down to the bottom of the nose, curve back up to the top. From here, I'm going to take this point, draw an angle line out towards the left, and an angle line out towards the right. So it looks like a V shape. From here, we'll take this end, we'll curve around the nose, and then just tuck that in underneath that curve. We'll do the same thing on the right side, and we'll color that in black. From here, let's block in the mouth. So I'm going to draw a really big smile across the face. So underneath the nose, we're going to draw a curve first. Starting from the left, curve up, and then down on the right side. We'll take these points and curve them up towards each eye. So curving up. That. And then we'll layer in the tattooed teeth across the top row here. So we're going to start in the middle, and curve up, and then down. We're going to continue this along the top row. Draw maybe, we'll fit in five of these on either side. So five here. Now from this end, I want to curve up and in towards the top of that tooth. Curving up like that. We're going to color the end in here black. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So we're going to work backwards. Again, we want to try to fit in five of these on either side so they're even. From the top of that tooth, we're going to curve to the edge of the mouth. Color that in black. Now at the tops of these teeth, I just want to draw a little point that goes up. So from this end, I'm going to go up. I'm going to just pull a short little line up from each tooth. Kind of like that. From here, let's move down to the center of the mouth and draw on the bottom lip. So I'm just going to draw a curve that goes across like that. From here, let's draw in the side and the bottom of the face. So down here, we're going to draw the chin down to here. On the left side of the eye, we're going to move over and going to draw a point. On the right side, I'll draw a point. We'll connect that with a curve going down towards the chin. So it's like a half circle, a nice smooth curve that goes down towards the chin. We'll go back up on the right side, and we're just pulling that up and in. Now let's go ahead and draw on the top of the head so he doesn't have any hair. So we're going to go all the way up to the top, probably right about there. 
but we're going to pull it out a little bit so it goes out and we'll go up to the top of the head curving around this way and pulling that right into the side on the right side. From here let's draw in the two tattoo flares on the side here. So on the side on the left I'm going to curve down towards the eye and curve it back out to the side of the head. Let's go to the right side, lining up the top, curve down towards the right eye, and then pull that out towards the side of the head. Let's color those in black. Now let's add some more tattoo detail. So in the center of the head here, he has a sickle tattoo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just right of center, just moving over, I'm going to curve down, and then out towards the left. We're going to draw a straight short line along the bottom, and we're going to taper it back up. So we're going to follow this line back up, and as we get to the top, we'll just pull it into a point. From this point, I'm going to curve out towards the left. From that same starting point, I'm going to angle a short line, connect that point to the tip of the sickle, with a curve. On the end here, I'm just going to draw a little short line there. There seems to be a little detail there. Along the top of the left brow, we're going to draw the little hash lines. So we're going to draw four short lines side by side across, and we'll draw an angle line through them. And we'll draw two more beside that. On the side of the eye on the left, there's a little line that goes across there. On the right, there's a little asterisk. So we're going to draw an X, and then just split it again in front of the tattoo. Now let's draw in some ears. So just above that point, we're going to move up, curve out, and then just pull it right into the side of the head. For the inner ear detail, we're going to start up here and just curve that in towards the side of the head. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Curving out, and then just pulling it in towards the side of the head, and then that inner ear detail there. Now the toughest part of this drawing is going to be the Diablo tattoo across the chin. Now because the head's curved this way, you're not going to see all the letters, it's going to get folded underneath the chin. So Diablo, six letters. We're going to split the face down the center. We're going to start with a short line that goes down. We're going to draw the top of the B. Just going over a bit, going up, down, up, down. From here we're going to take this line, we're going to duplicate it just to the side, go straight down. We'll color that in black. Now this is a very simplified tattoo. We're not going to do a lot of detailing here. From this point, we're going to curve in, and we're going to curve out, and then we'll curve it back down to the chin. We'll make it thicker by duplicating that line and coloring that in black. So there's the top of the B. We'll move over to the side and draw the L. So beside the B here, we're going to draw a curve. We're going to draw a straight line down. From this point, we're going to angle down and pull it straight down towards the chin. Color that in black. Now the L, you can see a little bit of the end coming up here, so I'm just going to draw a little short line coming up. Let's go to the O. So right through the top of the L here, we're going to go up, go down, and we'll pull that straight down on the side. On the end here, we're going to step in just a little bit towards the right and draw a straight line down. We're going to thicken that up, color it in black. On the end, we'll thicken it up, color it in black. Let's move towards the left side this way. Now we're going to draw the A beside the B. So we want to draw a little wave here, curving up, down, and then up. Draw a straight line coming down from the edge of the A. Draw another straight line beside that. We'll color that in black. From here, we're going to go down towards the center of the A, go up, and then we'll come down. Come down straight into the chin. We'll duplicate that line. Color that in black. Now we're going to have to fit in the D and I right beside here, so we're going to have to save some space. So we're going to start with a short line that comes down. Draw an angled point. Draw another straight line down so you can see there's a little bit of an overhang on the edge of the eye here. Color that in black. And then for the D, just because I don't want it to go too far to the side, I want to save some space. So I'm going to go up in an angle. I'm going to curve towards the eye. And then come straight down. From this point, I'm going to angle down. Pull the line down to the chin. We'll color that in black. And then from the end here, from this point, I'm going to draw a straight line down. Go down in an angle. Pull it straight down and color that in black. Okay, so we've got a very simple Diablo tattoo across the chin. Let's get into the body. Now, with the body, I usually draw my chibis the same size with the head. 
and the body. So I'm going to use my opposite hand, measure out the head, go down to the body. So this is where the bottom of the feet are going to be. From the bottom of the feet to the chin, halfway is where the waist will be. So what I want to do is I'm draw the sides of the body first. So moving over towards the left, I'm going to go towards the chin and just draw a curve going down to the waist on either side, curving down. We want to draw the bottom of the jacket, but the jacket's open, so we're going to draw a curve connecting that point to that point, but we're going to leave a gap open in the center here. So I'm going to curve, leave a gap, continue on the right side. Now I'm going to take these two points and curve up the inside edge of the jacket. So curving in towards each other, towards the chin. From here, I'm going to tuck this in. I'm going to curve and tuck it in underneath the chin. From that same point, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction towards the edge of the jacket there. Curving up. I'm going to split this in half with a curve, just for a little bit of detail in the collar. Now at the bottom, we're going to draw a little trim down here. So we're going to step up, just draw a little band across the waist. I'm going to split this in half as well. A little curve across like that. Let's move down towards the center, down here. Draw a little curve for the shirt underneath. And at the bottom, we're going to step up and just draw the bottom of the shirt underneath there. Along this side, we're going to draw some buttons. Draw a couple of circles. We're going to draw four of them. Going down the side. And we're going to go to this side on the right and draw the same thing. Draw four little circles on this side as well. And then over here, he's got the Diablo little badge. I'm not going to get into the detail, so I just want to draw in a rectangle. And you can add some more detail in there if you'd like. From here, let's move down towards the legs. So again, the bottom of the feet are down here. We're going to move down the middle, draw a curve for the lower torso. I want to draw a little fly here. Draw two lines side by side, and just connect it at the bottom. On the left side here, we're going to move in towards the right, and just draw a curve down towards the heel for the inside of the leg. On the right, we'll move over towards the left, curve down towards the heel on the right. We'll draw the bottoms of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, we'll draw a curve. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. So making sure they're the same length. We're going to draw the top of the feet. So from the toe, I want to curve up and almost imagine a half circle going towards the heel. But I'm not going to go all the way. I'm going to go up towards the top of the foot and just come down to about there. From here, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction towards the back of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So starting on the back of the leg, curving up. Then we're going to round out the top of the foot towards the toe. And then underneath the jacket on the hips, we're going to curve down the, the front of the legs towards the top of the foot. So just at the top of the curve of the foot on both sides. Here, let's add some detail in the shoes. We're going to add some soles. So we're going to step up and just trace that line just above the bottom of the feet on both sides. We're going to draw a little toe cap. So on the left side, we're going to curve a little toe cap. On the right, do the same thing. Let's add some little lace detail. So right up here, draw an angle line going to the, the bottom of the pant. Draw that twice. And then along this space here, I'm just going to draw maybe two curves across for the laces. Let's do the same thing on the right. And draw an angle line. Draw that twice. I'm going to draw two curves for the laces. Let's get into the arms. So I'm going to have the arms out in fist, and then we're going to make them flaming. So we're going to put some big flames up from the fist. Let's start with the one on the left. So from the shoulder, coming down to the elbow, out towards the fist. So we're going to draw on the fist first. So right here, I'm going to start in the wrist line. Curving up, down, and I'm going to pull this line up in towards the center of that curve there. From here, I'm going to curve back. This is the meat of the hand. We're going to layer in some fingers. So from the side of the thumb, curve out and in. Layer a second finger. So underneath this finger, we'll curve out and we'll pull it down and around in behind that thumb. Do that one more time for one more finger. We'll pull that right in there. Now we want to draw in the bottom of the fist here. So curving around. Now this, I'm going to pull it right into the side of that thumb there, in the wrist line. Let's draw on the top of the arm. So right beside this thumb, draw an angled line going towards the body. And then we'll curve it underneath the chin. On the bottom of the fist here, we're going to curve in behind the body. We're going to draw the little wrist um, cuff here. So we're going to draw a curve going across. We'll split that in half like that. Let's do the same thing on the right side before we get into the flame. So again, shoulders down to the elbow, across to the fist. We're going to start with this part of the knuckle of the fist first. So right here, curving up, down, and then pulling it up about halfway into that curve there. Draw the first finger, the curve, 
tuck it in behind the thumb. Now the second finger in behind the thumb. And then the third finger here, curving around. We could take this wrist line, curve the palm of the hand, and then tuck it in underneath that finger there. Let's draw on the top of the arm. So right here, from the side of the thumb here, I'm going to angle in, and then I'm going to angle it and curve it right in underneath the chin. Let's do the same thing on the bottom of the arm here. So right underneath the fist, I'm just going to curve this in behind the body. We'll draw the little wrist cuff. So up here, draw a curve. Just draw a little band strip inside. Now we can get into the flame. We'll start on the left side here. Underneath this finger, I just want to draw a little wave. It's almost like a backwards S, curving out, in, and then out. We're going to pull that in so it tapers, so it gets a little bit wider as we come in. Now we want to draw a little S shape that curves up, like that. Up here we're going to swirl around. Swirl around, and we're going to pull this back in. Down, and back over towards the right. We'll take this, continue up. Now we're going to pull this back, down towards the fist. Now we want to go in the opposite direction. We curve out towards the right. Now we're going to do a little wave, curving in and then down, like that. Let's do the same thing. We're going to take this, flip it over on the right side. We start with the inside part first. We're going to mirror exactly what's going on here. Starting at the wrist, curve up in towards the face, curve down. Now we're going to go up this way in the opposite direction, curving up. Now we want to swirl around here. So swirling this way, we're going to curve up and then out. So we're just mirroring this. I'm going to curve around, swirl it back. So we've got this part here. Curve in and then down. I'm going to flare this out here. Now we want to work our way back down towards the fist. So curving down, around, and then tuck that in underneath the fist. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's El Diablo from Suicide Squad. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.